sleep, <laughs> wake in God's new heaven. Praise the Lord. You have requests tonight before we, we pray. I'm sure that there's many things we, we need to pray for. Keep uh, in mind uh, Joe's mother. Uh, uh, the Lord's will be done. Uh, and then uh, we, uh, we want to remember uh, Jimmy uh, Mead. That the Lord continue to touch him. Do you have requests tonight? 
Yes, yeah, Country Workman, Michelle Sweeney, Alex Remember these tonight. Anyone else? I'm sure everyone has someone. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. And you lead out tonight as the Lord would lead you. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, with praise and with great glory, we come to see you. Father, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're glad tonight for hope. We're glad for, Lord, some peace and help that you've given us down through the day. Oh, thank you, Lord, for our people. Amen. We gather together tonight as one of them. And we remember, Lord God, the things that you've done for each one of us. Thanking you, Lord, for the day that, Lord, you wrought the wonder of salvation in our life. Changed the path that, Lord, we trod and have given us, Lord, new life. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for, Lord, the hope that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. That one day, Lord, after a while, we're going to a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you do. And Lord God, for all that you're going to do. I call Heavenly Father, those that are sick, you know what? Lord God, Joseph, Mother, and her every need. And Heavenly Father, we uh, we put her in your hands. Uh, we realize, Lord God, you know, uh, uh, Lord God, more than we do what the need is. So we put her in your hands. Uh, and then, Heavenly Father, we thought of Jimmy Mead. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for Jim that you would touch him and help him, oh God in every way. And then, Lord God, we call them uh, the Heavenly Father, Crystal Valenti, Lord God, continue to touch her. Uh, uh, Lord, and there's others tonight that, uh, Lord, uh, that are with thee. We call them these that Mary uh, uh, brings before us, Heavenly Father, every, uh, uh, every week, Heavenly Father, and Lord God, we're knocking on Heaven's door. Uh, we realize, Heavenly Father, if we knock long enough, Heavenly Father, the door will be open and the victory will be given so we can glory God, we give you praise and glory. Amen. So glad to see the Heavenly Father that God's people can gather in. Lord God, and begin to call upon that great and mighty name called Jesus. And Heavenly Father, our hope, thy God, is not in the things of this world. Our hope, Lord God, it thoroughly lies in you. We pray, Holy Spirit, from heart to heart, from breast to breast tonight, may thy comforting prayer presence be in this place. Oh, send it upon us, Holy Ghost. Father, tonight, from Lord God, our hearts, Lord God, may they be lifted up in praise and great glory to the mighty King of heaven, Lord, that knows our every need. We give you praise tonight, Heavenly Father, Lord, for all that you do, and Lord God, for all that you're going to do. Just have your pleasure. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise your holy name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who's going to help you? <laughs> oh, no, not a bit. <laughs> Charlie, you, with your old mean and honorary self, just go ahead and ask the Lord's blessing on that offering. Heavenly Father, we come before you again in Jesus' name. Lord, we do thank you. We're so appreciative of everything you give us, Lord, and how will God be taking care of us. Amen. Now you give tonight as the Lord's given to you.
Make a few announcements. Uh, if you haven't turned in your name for the fall revival, you better do it before we leave here tonight. Uh, uh, but all you have to do is write down on a piece of paper what your name is, give it to me, and, and we'll get to this thing taken care of for the fall revival. And then uh, World for Christ Thanksgiving Offering. Uh, envelopes are available out uh, in the vestibule or see Wanda Wells. She'll give you one or two or three or four, whichever you want. Uh, and you can give them back to either Lavana Eves or myself or Sister Wanda by the 27th of November. Charlotte, uh, she gave me one this evening and re reminded me, Wanda, to come up and, and take it out of my pocket. Uh, she said that, that she was afraid she'd forget if she didn't do it now. I said, well, Who's going to remind me? So, so you come and, uh, and take this out of my pocket this evening, would you? Um, next Sunday night, uh, in our evening service, we'll have the, the Gospel Heritage uh, uh, Quartet, uh, formerly the Adkins family, uh, and they'll be singing here. They've been here before. They do a good job. Uh, that'll be next Sunday evening. And then... Uh, uh, we want your, your thoughts concerning Christmas Day. As you know, Christmas comes on Sunday this year. And, uh, and I, I know there will probably be just a handful of us, however we, we do it. Uh, but uh, if you've got some ideas on how that we ought to handle uh, the services for, for our Christmas, uh, you uh, jot them down or come to me and, and let me know your ideas. Uh, uh, and we'll... we'll uh, Whatever the majority wants, that's what we'll go with, and, and we'll have service that way. Uh, November challenge, I, I challenged you last uh, uh, Sunday evening to, uh, uh, to pray just as, about twice as much as you do now. And I hope you've already started, but if you haven't, you've still got uh, half of a month to go. And uh, start praying and, and see what it does for you and, and the church in that, the, that amount of time. Uh, Sunday school lesson and that's nothing we need to I think that's it so oh yes oh yes it wasn't on my paper uh, tomorrow evening will be the ladies auxiliary meeting uh, since uh, we had our business meeting last uh, Monday night uh, this Monday night you'll have your ladies auxiliary meeting so is there anything else I need for God? All right. Roy, who's going to sing for us tonight? That's good. Uh, but I think that we had better get some some more ladies and gentlemen with their, their song in their hand. Uh, <laughs> come, Steve, sing for us. <laughs> Good evening. Good to be here this evening. Uh, Lavana sang a song this morning, and man, it was good. I mean, it was so good. When she was just singing about Jesus on the cross, I sat over there, and I just closed my eyes, and about middle ways of that song, it's like I could hear him say, I love you, Steve. Think about that. Think about the Savior speaking to you and say, I love you. <laughs> oh, my. I got a blessing and a half. It just, it was good. And this song says there is Jesus. Everywhere we go, whatever we do, he's right there in the middle of it. And I appreciate him so much. That's number four, Brother Roy. <laughs> It had been three days His parents couldn't find him But the scribes and the Pharisees Were all gathered round him As a boy in the temple 
speaking with such wisdom they were all amazed at what he said and in the middle of it all there was Jesus amen the one crying in the wilderness John the baptizer spoke of one who was to come baptizing with fire when John baptized him the heavens were open and God descended like a dove and in the middle of it all there was Jesus The wedding at Canaan, the wine made from water, going to the ruler's house to bring life to his daughter. He spoke with authority straight from the Father. No one could explain away his power, and in the middle of it all, there was Jesus On a hill just outside of town A man hung there bleeding Dying for the souls of men To captives bring freedom Three days later His tomb was empty He conquered death the grave yes in the middle of it all there was Jesus so no matter what you're facing no matter where you've been in hard times or in good times keep your eyes on him even in the heat of battle or by pleasant mountain streams he'll be right there in the middle that's where he's always been so be strong and take courage when you think you're gonna fall cause right in the middle of it all there is jesus
under conviction. I, uh, normally, when I can't get the mind of the Lord uh, about this time, I, I take off. The Lord gives me something else. Uh, the only thought that, that I had as we, we sung there, I, I thought about this woman that was, was troubled. Uh, she had had an issue of blood and, and for some 12 years, and she tried everything that she could and she got no relief. Every uh, a physician that, that had a new way of, of doing things, she tried it, but it didn't work a bit. And she said in, in her being, she said, if I but might touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And, 
And, and she, she came into contact. I, I, I thought how good that it is when we can come in contact with the mighty power of God's Holy Spirit. And I, I thought maybe that's the thing that's lacking in our day and time. We, we come and go uh, from the house of the living God and we never uh, have any thoughts that, uh, that we don't have to worry about coming in contact with Him. He's already here. And never more than, than the whisper of, uh, of a touch away when we decide that we want to get a hold uh, uh, of the hem of his garment that uh, we're going to reach out and, uh, and begin to touch him and I believe that's exactly uh, what this lady did she had tried uh, everything that she could and she knew uh, uh, that that wasn't working so she decided to go uh, uh, by faith and, and touch the hem of the garment of the master when she touched the hem of his garment thank God things began to happen. I thought, thank God. I, I'm glad for the night that things begin to happen in my life. I, I, I would sought and, and look for things. I, I did everything I believed that I could to try, uh, my friend, to, to quit sinning. And, and every time that I'd try, I'd be back in the same place where that, that it was. But thank God for the night I decided to reach out, uh, touch the hem uh, of the garment of the master. Uh, uh, brother, I'll tell you what, uh, through eyes of faith. I, I reached out that night. Didn't know. I hadn't just, a, uh, didn't have a clue as to what or, or the how or the who. I, but I knew that someplace and somehow I, that there was a living God that sat upon the throne. I, and if anything would happen or could happen it could only happen through him. I, and that night through eyes of faith I looked I, unto the master and I said, Jesus I, if you would, I, I would you forgive me of my sin I, hey say what uh, he did he lifted the heavy load of sin I, I put a joy and peace within my heart that's the only way I, you say a uh, uh, preacher boy uh, those are, are kind of simple words uh, simple it is uh, uh, that he can take a life uh, my friend uh, uh, that's so uh, troubled uh, heavy burden down with care uh, lift them up uh, and my friend put something within their heart uh, that makes life worth the living. I, I remember the night, thank God, I went home uh, uh, with newness of life in my soul. The world looked different. I, I went in, out in, into the world and my friend looked at the trees uh, and I heard uh, and seen the trees. They even take, took a different look. I, I went and, and, and heard the birds sing uh, and it seemed like that they had a happy song. Uh, and as I went along, uh, I remember there for at least two weeks uh, I went along and I had a skip in my step and the joy bells, uh, they rung within my heart and I said, oh, thank you Jesus, thank you Lord. Uh, and then my friends, I think the Lord seen uh, it was time to bring me down uh, off of the cloud that I was on. Uh, and I didn't know, uh, uh, my friend, that he was able uh, to keep uh, that which I had committed uh, unto him. Uh, I hadn't committed very much because I didn't know uh, how to commit that to him but I'll tell you what I did as I went along day after day and night after night I began to give him the things of my life my friend and I'll tell you what when you give it all to him throw up the white flag of surrender and say Lord you take it he can put something my friend way down deep in your soul give you my friend a strength that will hold in your times of trouble I've seen many of times uh, people look at, at the preacher and think well uh, uh, you've never uh, had to go through uh, some of the things that I've went through uh, but I'll tell you what uh, I've been there uh, every trial that you've had uh, I've had one or two also uh, and many a times uh, I felt like that my friend that I was an ultimate failure uh, but I said oh help me Jesus uh, and my friend it wasn't long uh, before he came along uh, and, and he satisfied uh, uh, the longing thank God uh, give us peace uh, like a river. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm glad this evening that I've got something uh, uh, that the world needs. Uh, you say, uh, uh, preacher, what are you talking about? I, I don't know who it was that told me, uh, told me about a little lady up on 22nd Street there. Uh, and they said that the drunks used to get out and, 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 and would be uh, troublesome all Saturday night. 
Jay. He said she'd get up on Sunday morning, uh, go out on the porch and begin to preach. Uh, and as uh, she preached, uh, uh, my friend, they'd call the law on her and said one day uh, uh, that, she, that the, 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 the law came uh, to, her, to her house and she said, come on, uh, I believe you can handle a little of this too. Uh, and my friend, the, uh, the, the policeman got back in his car uh, and, and let her preach. I'll tell you what, uh, it's good tonight uh, uh, to know that we've got something uh, that my friend that the world needs uh, oh that somehow uh, uh, we as the people of God could get on shouting ground uh, and realize this evening uh, uh, that God is still alive uh, he's still helping uh, and he's still giving victory uh, uh, to his people uh, oh that somehow tonight uh, that we uh, as the church of the living God would, uh, uh, would realize that we've got something my friends uh, uh, that's real hallelujah uh, we've got something my friends uh, uh, that you and I uh, uh, we could only get at an altar of prayer when we gave our heart to Jesus uh, and it holds true uh, uh, by faith tonight uh, uh, we're looking up uh, uh, we found our uh, friend of that city uh, which hath foundation and we're getting closer uh, you think about it uh, with every day that passes we're a little bit closer uh, than we were yesterday and it's all because uh, of the love of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, that he uh, put within our heart that day that we can look uh, uh, my friend not with bread or doubt or anything else uh, uh, we can look my friend uh, 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 with anticipation uh, of the time that's coming when uh, uh, that we'll see no more uh, of the things that we've seen in this life the troubles uh, uh, my friend that you think about it. Uh, there have been so many troubles uh, in, in this life uh, and, but yet with my friend we know that there's a better day of coming. Uh, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard uh, and Jesus said uh, if I go away I go away to prepare a place for you. Uh, did you know uh, uh, my friend it's getting closer. I had an old boy, uh, uh, my friend a sinner boy to tell me the other day uh, he, he, said, uh, he said preacher he said I, I look around and see that there's something getting ready getting ready to happen. I said, you better believe it. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back for a prepared people that have been washed and made white in the precious blood of the Lamb. And they've got their garments, my friend, clean. And they're ready to go. Hallelujah. I'm glad tonight. I'm ready to go. How about you? A church somehow tonight. We need to get beside ourselves and begin to realize uh, uh, that this good, this glorious salvation is victorious and uh, uh, that we've got the victory. Thank God. Uh, and we can do and be and see one of these days some of the greatest sights that we'll ever be able to see. Praise His holy name. That little lady <laughs> She said, if I might but touch the hem of your garment, she reached out and touched it. Yeah. How simple it is. Yeah. Oh, Jesus said, I felt virtue go out of me. Oh, they said, well, well, they said, well, Jesus said, what are you talking about? This crowd that's around you. Uh, and there's going to be somebody that to touch you. He said, no, oh, no, I felt the virtue go yeah. out of me. And here was a lady to come and, and, and bow herself before yeah. him. And, and my friend, she was made whole. Yeah. Oh, aren't you glad? Yeah. As many as come, gave me power to become the sons of God. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Hallelujah yeah. to heaven's yeah. name. Yeah. All right. Betty was telling me about a tag team she heard uh, on the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, TV set this morning with Brother uh, Blatton and Brother McCoy. Where, where's my tag team partner that's going to take over and, and begin to glorify and give Him praise? He's worthy tonight. Hallelujah to heaven's King. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We got another song, Roy. No. Nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, well, yes. Here it comes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This may be my tag team partner. I don't know about him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Steve, your song was mentioned that Jesus is always right there, you know. He's, he's never... He's never but just an arm length. He's just right there all the time. 
It's so good to know that he's just right there. Just call out for him and he's right there to help you. So long I have searched for life's meaning Enslaved by the world and by greed Then the door of the prison was opened by love For the ransom was paid, I was free I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of the past. For I trade in my shackles for a glorious song. I'm free, praise the Lord, free at last. I'm free from the guilt that I carried. From that dull, empty life I'm set free. For when I met Jesus, He made me complete. He forgot the foolish one I used to be. I'm free from the fear of tomorrow I'm free from the guilt of the past for I've traded my shackles for the glorious song I'm free praise the Lord free at last it's good to know that you're free Amen. Who else tonight? Brother Roger, I was thinking about your uh, pastor's challenge that you can give. And then I read, I guess Dan put it to Holden this morning. Uh, uh, when you pray, instead of just keep repeating the same, same thing over, you just pray God's word. I mean, if you can't remember it, you know, I'll say you could open your Bible and read it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Amen. As Steve pointed out this morning, it's a heart attack. Uh, we may not know, even sometimes I'm praying and I think, Lord, I'm not even sure I know what the definition of that word is, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> but if we run out, let's just open the Bible, go to the Psalms somewhere, and we pray. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody mind the Lord this evening? The little girl out work it was a involving accident. She doesn't look better now. She had some internal bleeding days ago. So, thanks to a nurse I found out today that recognized that there was something wrong and they got in and got stopped. And uh, she doesn't look better. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord for that. Thank you all go. I've never done this before. But, uh, they had three special prayers for her at her church. And uh, I put both of them on YouTube like I put a song on so the whole world to pray for her. And uh, very powerful. Amen. Thank God for answering prayer. Sure. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Sure. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Everybody free tonight? Shall we stand? Jeannie dismisses in prayer.
Amen. Amen. Shake hands and be friendly.